Mr. Umbach, if you could look in as well. Mr. Carradine tied me up right there. Right there. Tell me about Mr. Carradine. Why was he here and where is he now? Mm -hmm. I don't give a tinker's damn about Mr. Carradine, or whatever his real name is. He had the misfortune of traveling with Ava Jerome. And she is the one that I'm after. She has the weeping naiad. Right, the naiad. So they tied you up and they left together? Aye, the blackguards. Okay, how long ago? Oh, I want an hour. An hour. Um, they, okay, so they don't know the area. They don't have a car. We could probably track them down right oh, now. Oh, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Um, perhaps you noticed. No, perhaps you didn't. We're terribly isolated out here. Uh, nothing but fields and hedgerows. It's no lighting, spotty cell service. That's all by way of saying that if you go charging after these two, you might get hopelessly lost. We'll risk it. Hey, but my dear, you, you simply don't have to. I have a better option. Oh no, you are. Uh, what happens when you find this Caradine, a Cassidine person? Uh, we take him back to the States. He's got some legal issues pending. I see. And Mr. Rome? We're not interested in Mr. Rome. Why? Well, this is my family estate. The Lynches have been here for over 300 years. I, I know every tree, every rock, every blade of grass in the district. I could find my way blindfolded, or in the pitch black of night, if necessary. You want to help us search? Oh, I, yeah, you seem like a very capable fellow, and as I said, I know the area like the back of my hand. But I suggest we pool our resources, and then we divide the spoils. You take Miss Carradine back to the U.S., and you leave me Mr. Rome to do with as I see fit. How does that sound? Sounds like a deal to me. 